I've arrived at the Williska salt mines. And I'm about to take a tour called the tourists route down into the salt mines. The complex of mines and tunnels that they've got under here is apparently vast. There's hundreds of miles worth of tunnels dug during medieval times when salt was used to trade with other people for goods and services. Apparently there's uh, something that represents or could be mistaken for a city under there so I'm going to go and take a closer look. Apparently it goes to right about 300 meters down so we're talking nearly a thousand feet under the surface of where I'm standing now. Still raining quite heavy so turns out it's a brilliant day to do it I think. Heading down now. It's apparently equivalent to about a 15 story building. I don't I thought I heard 80, 88, I don't honestly know. All of these statues are built out of salt, as is the entire mine, so all the floors reinforced with wood. So we're just visiting 1% of these mines today. There are hundreds of miles of tunnels down here. I think I said earlier, ranging from about 100 meters down, 300 feet, to nearly 300 meters down, which is nearly a thousand feet. Hundreds and hundreds of chambers, a mini city, if you will. when Casimir was in charge, when he was a king, this enterprise, it was giving about 33% of all incomes to Polish treasury. Can you imagine even more than 30% of all money of state of Poland came from this enterprise? So he has to take care about this place, obviously, right? Huge, huge money here, really. It was very important. As I said, it's important to stress that everything under here, all the statues, all the memorials, are made from salt. If you look at the walls, all of these, cauliflower salt, because it looks like cauliflower. Lots of wood under here, making sure that none of the mine collapses. And apparently wood is good under here because salt preserves it. None of the termites that might get at the wood can exist down here because of the salty atmosphere, the salty air. It's also supposed to be very good for your health down here. There's actually spas built into this area. Fire was the biggest threat to the mine, but water was the second biggest because it dissolves salt. So it has to be managed properly down here. Onwards. This is the chapel where people would attend if they were down here in the mines. It also served useful for people who had died down here to have their service right the way down in the place where they died. Even the chandeliers made out of salt. The 
this chapel is located 101 meters below the surface. Well, this is uh, quite a magical place. It's an entire chapel built out of salt in the mines. So this chapel was built by amateurs, really. They were actually miners that built this out for themselves hundreds of years ago, completely made out of salt. And as an example, the floor looks like it's tiled with salt. But actually this was just one big surface. And then they etched out the gap in between to make it look like it was decoratively tiled. There's the altar at the other end there. Excellent person. John Paul II, famous Pope, born in Poland. This is a salt statue of him. Unfortunately though, he never came here because when he was due to come, he fell sick and uh, never ended up coming down to have a look. These are the salt lakes, right at the bottom of the mine. You can't see them very well, but there's uh, lakes down there. And although water is very dangerous in the mine, um, this water is saturated fully with salt already so it can't absorb any more so you get to the point where it's so salty that you can't drown in it because it is as i say completely saturated with salt the doors uh, quite often close behind you to regulate the wind down here you basically go in one section and then close the door behind you. This is a little compartment that has a shop and some food and drink. And it was a chamber that up until recently was declared unsafe for tourists. But with the adding of all these wooden beams to reinforce this chamber, it was declared safe again. heard in my ear that we're going to start the tour again. This was just a 10 minute rest break. There used to be ferry rides in the salt lakes here. Until uh, an accident happened with a number of tourists that were taking that ferry ride. Long time ago now. But uh, seven Austrian soldiers apparently got trapped under the ferry of a little boat and because the water is so salty you can't drown in it if you get trapped under the boat the water pushes you up onto the bottom of the boat and the force between the water and the boat will kill you so they no longer operate any kinds of uh, ferry rides under there now because it wouldn't pass health and safety legislation these days to keep people safe. So 
some of these rocks made out of salt have fluorescent properties because of the type of minerals they contain. So when the light goes out, that happens. Pretty good, huh? So these tracks were created to move salt carts around efficiently and quickly. And when the salt mine first came into existence in the 1400s, it used to be men that would pull the carts around and then later that was replaced by Hungarian dogs and then after that horses. So these figures created solely out of salt. You can see a really good view of this one, it's lit very well. So you can see every last part of him crafted by amateurs down here in the mines to create themselves their own environment. And you can see some of the wooden structures there that are having difficulty with the weight. I'm guessing that's just an example. And ladders that go all over the place. Four, four decks, nine in each deck, 36 people in total can come up at a time. It takes 30 seconds, so it really goes quickly, but you are packed in like sardines, I tell you. Proper miner's lift. This is a more recent addition to the mining community. It's a heading machine that can create tunnels the size of corridors and it can work through about 10 to 15 meters of corridors or tunnels inside 24 hours.